The New Zealand borders are currently closed to almost all travelers in New Zealand due to the COVID-19 outbreaks. But there is some light at the end of the tunnel. It is January 2021 and maybe travelers will be allowed in New Zealand this year. We'll go over all the information that we currently have in this video. All right, guys. So as you uh, as you know, COVID-19 has uh, kind of been uh, taking a massive toll on the tourism industry all around the world. And it is affecting a lot the tourism industry here in New Zealand. But there is some sign of recoveries. And that may be a good thing for you, which are trying to come and travel into New Zealand, because that may mean that you may be very soon or soon enough welcomed into New Zealand. We're still talking in months. So in this video, we're going to go over the current state of COVID-19 in New Zealand, and then we're going to go over the uh, expected date of um, being able to travel to New Zealand in 2021 for tourists, workers, students, and vaccinated travelers. So let's get started with the current state of COVID-19 in New Zealand. Yep, so as of January 2021, and as it has been for a few months now, uh, the New Zealand borders are closed to all international travelers, except for a very few exceptions which includes New Zealand residents, New Zealand citizens and a few tiny amount of allocations to workers that are much needed in New Zealand following a very set criteria. Um, so basically anyone wanting to come to New Zealand for a holiday or just to casually travel or do a working holiday Basically, the borders have been closed for quite a while um, to those guys and still are to this day. And it looks like it will be for the foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, but for people that do arrive in New Zealand, there are um, quarantine rules that apply. And um, when people arrive in New Zealand, they need to stay in specialized quarantine facilities, which are um, selected hotels around the country, sort of run um, like overseen by the government at the moment and they stay there for two weeks um, and have to pay a fee for staying there which is around 3,100 New Zealand dollars. Um, so that's the state of what New Zealand um, the border closure is at the moment and what what is needed for people to come to New Zealand um, and like I say it has been like that for a few months. All right, so let's go over uh, the prospect of the border openings for selected type of travelers coming to New Zealand. So again, if you're a New Zealander, you can come home. You will just have to be subject to the 14 days quarantine, which we know it's uh, not great, but it's still a way to get home. So if you're a New Zealand resident or um, a New Zealand citizen, you are still able to come to New Zealand even right now. Now let's talk about tourists. Um, the tourists coming to New Zealand are probably going to be the last um, uh, type of travelers coming to New Zealand allowed into the country. And just because um, tourists coming to New Zealand pose a high risk uh, for coming to New Zealand for such a small amount of time. So for this reason, we have made a prediction and no official information has been uh, released. And we have a full video with our predictions on the channel. So you can check out our entire train of thought behind it. And I'll put the link to it in the description below. But we have made a prediction that, you know, this may happen in the next 10 to 11 months, which means in uh, November or December 2021 at the earliest and highly likely during the first quarter of uh, 2022. So that's our prediction for tourists coming into New Zealand. Um, and we are obviously talking about quarantine free travel um, coming to the country. The next uh, type of travelers that we want to talk about are workers. So there are people coming in uh, you know, with a work visa. And I think that will also include working holiday makers. So um, there is different type of work visas in New Zealand. There are specific work visas for specific industries. There is also seasonal work visas and, and all these kind of things. So now taking in consideration the fact that, for example, the farming and agricultural industry in New Zealand is quite um, at the moment struggling to find workers in order to help them do all the picking and, and all these kind of task um, we do see some batches of workers being able to come to New Zealand in the near future now again no official information has been released but um, the specialized workers such as seasonal workers and, and these kind of visas may be able to come to New Zealand literally within the next 
three to six months in selected batches. So that may happen the same thing that has happened to students and we'll cover that uh, a little bit later, but maybe they will allocate 1000 spots to um, seasonal horticultural workers um, that are therefore gonna be able to continue in other selected um, time throughout the year. Again, it's very, um, uh, it, it's very dependent on the situation in New Zealand, the situation overseas and all that. So they may just be from selected amount of countries. So maybe some workers from the South Pacific, such as Samoa or Tonga, which are countries which are COVID-19 free. But that's how we kind of see that happening for workers uh, being able to come to New Zealand. Um, now moving on to students coming to New Zealand. So there are already been some progress made for students coming to New Zealand. There is a thousand, uh, um, uh, there is an amount of thousand students which are able to come to New Zealand, uh, starting with the first batch of Athlink 300 coming in April. They have to be PhD, uh, so not PhD, but um, uh, high level kind of students that already started their study in New Zealand and have to be physically in New Zealand to complete their study. So there is definitely some, um, some very strict criteria exactly yeah. very strict criteria right here um, and the quarantine still applies to the students so the, the, the students have to spend the money to be in quarantine and have to spend the 14 days in quarantine but that's some progress made here the New Zealand um, uh, international student industry is quite large in the country so obviously um, this is a big income uh, source of income for the, uh, the the New Zealand government and for the New Zealand economy so we think that some more students will be located uh, also more student spots will be allocated so this first thousand uh, has already been allocated and we think that um for the last quarter of 2021, um, some more students will be allowed and almost definitely for the intake starting in 2022, students will be able to come to New Zealand. Now, a quick advice to students, please don't pay any fees, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't basically be scammed until you know for a fact you can come to New Zealand, don't pay, don't sign any paperwork just yet. All right, and uh, lastly, we're gonna be covering a little bit uh, more about vaccinated travelers. There's a lot of rumors around the world right now, which are saying that people that get vaccinated will be able to travel wherever they want, however they want. This has not been um, announced for New Zealand just yet, and we don't think that's going to be announced, just simply because um, there has not enough data just yet in knowing if, uh, if uh, vaccinated travelers still can carry the virus around or not. There's no information on that just yet, so the New Zealand government has not uh, planned to take any risk on that. The vaccine rollout in New Zealand itself um, is not kicking in until the mid of 2021. Um, and then when that's gonna start kicking in, it's gonna take quite a, a long time to roll out throughout the entire country. So for this reason, we do not think that a, a, a traveler vaccinated or not vaccinated will have more chances to come to New Zealand at this point. So um, we don't think that having the vaccine is gonna be your ticket to New Zealand. However, uh, having a vaccine may become a requirement um, to traveling uh, to New Zealand in the future. Um, but I just don't think that's going to be, I mean, we just don't think that that's going to be an actual requirement uh, for you to be able to come to New Zealand in, in that case. So that's all the information that we currently have right now. All of it is pretty vague just because there has been no official announcement. But since this is a question that we received literally in the hundreds since the beginning of the year, and we're publishing this video on the 25th of January, 2021, we're already received more than 100 times this very question alone we decided to address it for you we will obviously keep you updated on this channel and you can also check nzpocketguy.com for all your travel advice for new zealand in the meantime stay safe out there thank you stop a little bit for the end to talk actually for the end so here you go now there's some stuff covering your face right now so stuff